Gus, we'll be starting in just a one minute. Wayne, you on the call? Okay, let's do an audio test to see how this webinar is going to turn out on, on the recording. And I am recording today. Excellent. Just give me a something in the chat box. Let me know that you... Great, great. Got it loud and clear from a couple of people. Perfect. Guys, it's right at the top of the hour, so we are going to start our Geek Out Fridays uh marketing automation zoom calls so welcome aboard i think i we've got wayne on the other line wayne you there yes i'm here hello everyone we have a really a, a a different type of webinar today and it's more about strategy and what you're going to be doing for quarter four of 2021 to make money so it makes um, maybe even a side gig for you uh, so let's get started, and we've got a lot of people coming on board today. So uh, Wayne, if you'll handle the questions, I'll I'll handle the presentation. Yep, no problem. Okay, great guys, welcome to the call. Uh, my name is Damon Nelson, and our my partner is Wayne Atkinson, and we're glad that you can join us on Geek Out Fridays. It is October. I can't believe it's already October eighth. Uh, we're, we are in quarter four of 2021. And what that means, if you've done any drop shipping or product sales or affiliate marketing, uh, quarter four is when all the sales really ramp up that are gift ideas or things that you can give away for Christmas. So uh, today, the focus is on list cycles. And I, I call it 101. This is your basic uh, class on what are list cycles, but I want to kind of get you in the frame of mind of what list cycles are and why they're so important. And first off, let's start off with a, a stat. Ecom sales are projected in quarter four to be 18% of all sales online and offline. So that means even when we're competing against Walmart and Best Buy, uh, Ecom sales are are getting on up to the to the status that it's not just Amazon selling; it's Shopify, it's Etsy, it's it's every shopping platform out there. But there's a big percentage of people are selling off their own websites, are selling off of a uh, white label uh, shopping cart of some type. Uh, so anyway, that's what we're going to focus on today is how can you get in on this uh, e-com sales? I'm using Canva as my uh, presenter, so it's a little bit different than uh, PowerPoint. So what are they and why do you need them? List cycles, all they are is just a list of products related to the main topic of the list uh, with a call to action on each a list item. And why do you need them? Well, shoppers are always attracted to list. You can never go wrong with a list cycle, especially if you got it in different uh, medium formats, meaning uh, both as a blog post, as a video, um, as a email, or as a press release. There's all types of things that you can do with it. And uh, shoppers are they're, they're wanting ideas, and this is what they type in on Google search. <coughs> so I did a little bit of Google search ahead of time to kind of get you in, in the frame of mind. I'm going to bring over a complete browser window. Now I use a, a keyword tool, and you can use any keyword tool out there, but I, I use this one because it takes, it's called Word Recon. And it takes all this, uh, your basic keyword, and goes A to Z. Um, and it picks out the, the most popular things. It just adds the word A to the end and see and checks to see what uh, Google says. And then that it does B, and you can kind of get an idea here. But what I do is I go into word frequency. So what are people 
in all this list of 300 plus uh, keywords that I found, Christmas, presents, what, old parents. Okay, that's an idea. So I selected that, selected dads. And so I'm just kind of going in, what is the most commonly asked uh, uh, keyword search? Wife, uh, girl, boy. And if you get up to the old, uh, this is going to be like for a 12-year-old, two-year-old. So there's a lot of ideas in here. So what I did was I just clicked on this. I just went to Google um, top Christmas presents for a 13 year old boy. So it opened it up. These are listicles, 25 best, 22 uh, unique and cool gifts, wicked uncle, the best gifts for 13 year old boys, 101 best gifts. So all these items in here, in fact, this 101 right here, it was published September 24th. So everybody's getting ready for listicles for Christmas with their listicle. So you'll see a lot of them come out at this time. 35 bits gifts for mountain bikers. He's made a little video with this. And actually that's a, it looks like an ad in there. But the secret to all this is every product he has in this blog post has some type of affiliate relationship. Shop now at Amazon. So he's using his Amazon affiliate link to list all these items. Now you, Amazon has reduced their commission, but the thing is with Amazon, if you get anybody over on an Amazon product, even though they may only be paying two or 3%, they may buy this and then they may turn around, they may buy another thousand dollars worth of Christmas items. Well, if they're on your cookie, meaning they come in through your affiliate commission on your cookie, then everything for the next 24 hours they buy is goes to your commission. So this is one way that people make money is they, they send people to uh, uh, affiliate products. So let's look at um, top gift ideas for her for Christmas. So you get some ideas up here all, and all these are either um, affiliate products or they're some type of um, e-com store, 50 amazing gifts. Okay, here, this one came out August 3rd, August 20th, two days ago. So you can see everybody's getting ready for list sickles. Okay, so she's written a good article and she's got a flip phone case at Case Defy at Amazon. And you can mix and match. You don't have to bring them all in from um, Amazon if you're an affiliate promoter. Okay, so you can kind of see some ideas here. All these companies more than likely have some type of affiliate. She has some type of affiliate, affiliate relationship, especially Cosmopolitan. They have all types of affiliate. This is how they make money. So they'll prepare a list, put their affiliate links in there, and that's how they're making money. So let's look at a few more here. Best Christmas gift ideas for girlfriend. <clears throat> Good Housekeeping is doing it. Esquire is doing it. USA Today. So you can kind of get an idea. Okay. So that's what listicles are. Now, I'm going to oops, head over to this one. So what do you need to build your own listicle? Well, you need products to sell. And Wayne and I both believe is we're not going to be a warehouse. We're not going to pack and ship products ourselves. we prefer a no touch product to sell. So that either means drop shipping or an affiliate offer. An affiliate offer can be Amazon products, eBay commission products, or any of the drop thousands of drop shipping companies out there um, or any of the affiliate offers. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing on one of our sites. We've made a masher site into a e-com store. Uh, so you also need a website to host it. Now it can be your website. It could be Amazon's. It could be your Shopify store. Uh, it could be an Etsy or, or anything that um, I use a company called Printify. They have a store. Printful has a, has a, a store that you can use. Uh, we also use um, Groovecart as our store. Then you need a listicle. The listicle probably needs to be on your store. That's what we recommend. But if, if not, you could put it in a, um, any type of content posting page like Medium. 
you can put it in um, um, what I'm going to try to say, oh, wordpress.com, put it in any of your own WordPress sites or your blogger sites, and then, then you send traffic to it. So step one, you need products. Where do you get products? And we just talked about it is affiliate offers, drop ship, print on demand. So I'm going to show you a couple from each of these. Um, the affiliate offers, ClickBank is a great source for virtual goods. Now they do have some shipping goods in there. They also have some CPA offers where they fill out like a lead form. But what you're wanting is uh, for listicles is you want physical products that are shipped. Uh, Amazon and eBay, if you have an Amazon affiliate link, uh, treat it nice, do, <laughs> follow their terms of service so you don't get banned. But you can use this the same as if you're using Google AdSense. Uh, other affiliate platforms, um, I, I list Commission Junction. The one I really like is GiddyUp. They pay more than anybody else out there and they have some really good products. A lot of their products have been on Shark Tank um, and are as seen on TV and they're good high quality products. So uh, GiddyUp is a, is a source right there. Drop shipping, uh, you can drop ship in fact, I don't have my favorite one in here. I should have put that in there, is Dropified. Dropified is a service that finds these products, Alibaba, AliExpress, but it has all this directory inside of it, and you can push it from Dropified into GrooveCart or into Shopify stores. It makes it real easy to do drop shipping, uh, but then you build your own stores. Um, or you can have an eBay store or an Amazon store. Um, and Oberlo, if, if you're using Shopify, this is a great source for dropship products. Sellhue is more of a directory, but you, you have a, a lot of options on where to get uh, products, both from the US and from overseas. Now, word of advice, if you're drop shipping from Alibaba or AliExpress, or you're going anywhere from China, you need to close your store at Black Friday, after Black Friday. Close down your list because if they order something on December 15th, you're not going to get it until probably end of January uh, if it's coming from Alibaba or AliExpress. But typically, if, they, if you place an order in the month of November with AliExpress, it's going to be delivered before Christmas. That's, that's the best case scenario. However, with the pandemic and everything else going on, you might have del delays here. So look for things that are shipped from the US. There are stores in AliExpress that they've moved their warehouses over in the US and they make it very quick. It's usually five to seven day shipping, okay? So you're comparing yourself always with Amazon. Amazon can get it to you overnight. <laughs> so and sometimes the same day. So you're competing on shipping as well as price here. Now, Oberlo, those are all US products uh, that are in a Shopify store. This is a pretty good one to use along with Dropify. Uh, Wholesale 2B, I've never used it, but I know several people using it and they can get some really good discounted products uh, that they can put in uh, their, their own stores. So this is more your own store right here, um, however you want to uh, put it in a website. Now, print on demand. This is uh, Teespring really started the print on demand business, but Printify and Printful, I'm gonna show you these uh, stores today. These are great for doing um, t-shirts, mock uh, um, t-shirts, coffee mugs, hats. And I'll show you the store that we have um, all hooked into Printify and Printful. And a lot of these, once you create the product, all you're doing is really putting the logo or the, the image on a piece of material and inside of Printful, and then it goes out to Shopify or it goes out to GrooveCart automatically uh, and builds your, your stores. So uh, these are really nice. T-Launch, I haven't done this, but if you're doing t-shirts, this they have their own store inside for you. So you can uh, private label your own t-shirt store uh, with T-Launch. And if you want to do wall art, this is one of the, the coolest print on demands. 
they they do wall art. They do um, like refrigerator stickers, not not the magnets, but um, the, what it's print skins is what they call them. Uh, but they do framed artwork. And so if you've got some artwork that you want to do, or you got some um, uh, like I use uh, several. Uh, not Getty, but I, I use some other sites uh, that have some really good artwork that I can use private label with copyright um, uh, issues on it. I, I mean, with no copyright issues. So this is a great one. Now, if you're selling, it's probably too late right now to get into merch for Amazon. But if you have another store that you're using, it, plan on getting into merch by Amazon. Merch has, it's, it's Amazon's print on demand, basically. And they have, a, they have all the sources that everybody else does, but you build the store inside of Amazon. And basically you just bring the artwork over, you tell Amazon what you want and it builds everything for you and puts the pricing in. Very, very nice service, but it's very hard to get into. Um, I, I haven't been able to get into it. Uh, but I, I a friend of mine's using, and he's, he's making some good money using merch, and he's getting ready for quarter four. Take a break here. Wayne, any questions at this point? Uh, not at the moment. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to show you some real life examples of all this in just a few minutes here. Now, the website, where do you want to host the products? Now, in the, past, in the past, I've used Shopify. I absolutely love Shopify, uh, but I was paying $79 a month. And, and those, those months that you're not, if you're not promoting and you don't use Shopify as a full-time business, this can kind of get pricey because just like WordPress, they have plugins or, or apps that go with Shopify. You could be spending a few hundred dollars a month on apps that go with your Shopify. It makes everything easy. And for quarter four, this is perfect. Uh, Wix, it's cheaper. It's a little bit more complicated to set up as far as making it into a shopping cart, but they've, they've gotten better. Um, GrooveCart, Wayne and I use this. I'm gonna show you a GrooveCart product. Um, Etsy, this is more for custom one-off uh, items eBay, you can create an eBay store, put your products in eBay, sell it not only to eBay customers, but use it as a store as your website. It's a, it's a really neat uh, way that eBay has set up their own stores. Now, this is what we use. Uh, you could use your own site. So if you've got a WordPress site and WooCommerce and you wanna set it up, great. Um, WooCommerce has gotten easier over the years. Um, but they've got multiple plugins to get WooCommerce to work correctly. But they do all types of drop shipping uh, plugins to go in with WooCommerce and they track all the inventory for you. And they also have all types of reports and sales tax and everything. But it, you almost need to be a pretty good programmer or have one on staff to set one up. So we're using Masher sites. Now they, they are not the end product uh, shopping cart, but we're using them to do advertorials. So we're using a method called, um, where it looks like a blog post, but it really is an advertorial. It's just a, a promotion for a product. And I'll show you how to do that. And, and actually it's all giddy up products that we're using for this one store. Okay. Now the list cycle. It, this is just, you go to Google Docs, you can go to, uh, we're actually using conversion AI or Jarvis as they call it now to write our listicles. And uh, you just group products into a list, you know, just a regular Word doc. Then you convert that Word doc into a blog post. And for the most part, I mean, you just copy it into your WordPress or you can, if you're using master sites, you just copy it in as external content. If you're using Medium or one of those um, uh, blogger or wordpress.com, you know, you just copy and paste basically. But you want each list item, you want a call to action. 
all the images you want to send to a call to action. Anything they can click on, you want it to going through to your affiliate link to the product. And I'm about to show you how all that works. Okay. Now, once you got your list sickle made, what do you do with it? Well, you start dropping it into groups. Now, this is where you want a good image of everything. Uh, maybe not everything, if you got 63 items in your list, but the top four or five items, make a, use Canva, make a little image. So you have an image that goes with your uh, promotion along with a real good sexy title and then a, just a short description that goes with it. Once you have that, then you drop it into Facebook groups, pages, and um, you can also do uh, posted, uh, boosted posts at this link at, at this time. So this is where I'm, I'm kind of working. I really, I don't do a lot of Facebook paid ads anymore, but I will do boosted posts. So I'll drop it into Facebook and then I'll boost a couple of posts in there. Now, this is where we're doing a lot more with our pay-per-click. So we're trying to get it more into a pay-per-click into Google ads, but more importantly is we're getting it on top of YouTube videos as in-stream videos or as uh, ad placements. Now, what you also want, might wanna try doing is taking your list, especially if it's a shorter list, like the top 12, and just making slides for them, doing a PowerPoint or Google, Google Slides, and the old um, Vindami is what I would use, but now I'm lo using Lumen 5 uh, to just create a, a short little two or three minute video uh, with your products on there. Um, and then they're all linking back to the original listicle. Now, Pinterest, again, you're gonna have a really nice little image. Do some paid pins about your, your listicle. It doesn't cost a lot inside of Pinterest. Uh, I always drop it in Twitter. In fact, I, I dropped a lot of things in Twitter, all my different uh, Twitter accounts through um, using menu builders. I've got quite a few Twitter accounts. So I will drop these lists in and I don't just drop them in once a day I, I, or once and forget it. I'll drop them in probably every two or three days into each of the Twitter accounts because I wanna make sure that uh, anybody coming to my Twitter accounts gets an opportunity to go to my list signal. Then you also want an email. If you've got an email list, email it out. Say, hey, listen, I've, I've found, you know, here's 12 good items, great items that, uh, that I've found for grandma or for um, your boss or, or coworkers. So whatever you build your list signal with, you know, expand how you're getting it out. You don't just want to build it and stick it into your, your site. Uh, you want to do things with it. Okay, uh, anybody wanna see how we're doing it? We've got a few yeses come across, great. I'm gonna hop over to, oops, back over here, I'll just hit escape, get out of here. Okay, this is one of, uh, of our masher sites. Um, it's called Drive Gadgets. Now, I, this used to be a Shopify store, so I've, I've still got some, Shopify products that I that are out on YouTube and everywhere else they they probably go to dead links right now, but this is a news board site, and it looks like a a, a Pinterest style site, real nice looking. So let's take a look at it. Uh, let's let's go into this one. Clever gadgets transferring your bum. Now this looks like a blog post. Now it's it really is an advertorial uh, giddy up. They have this. I, I copied it straight from Giddy Up. I went in and did a, a little bit of editing, and I've got links in here. So anywhere you click on, it's going to take you to the uh, checkout page. So that's where this is key smart. It makes uh, little keys. But as you read through this blog uh, post, it's kind of a story. And then it introduces the product, gives uh, proof of its uh, uh, with proof of sales, uh, and then it comes down here, deep discount, still available. And in fact, I need to update that right there. And then this takes them back to the same shopping cart. 
Okay. So once sales are made, it goes through my, it, it, it goes through these items when they sell, uh, the, the key smart, I think I actually get paid like almost $20 for this. Now, how do they, how can they sell it for 19 and, and pay me 20 for it? Well, with Giddy Up, they, they're basically building a list of people that would buy. Now, they're always going to try to upsell them, upsell them to, but once they're in the list and they start shipping the product, in the product itself, in the packaging, there's more offers. They're going to be forever on their list. <laughs> you see the little proof of sales here. Uh, and on this one here, this is 79 and I get paid $60 on this. So this is not your Google AdSense where you're getting paid 25 cents on a click. These are based on sales. So uh, anyway, that's that's the giddy up product. So it looks like a shopping cart and I'm using somebody else to manage it. I don't do any, I don't touch the product. I don't even know, I don't even know who buys the product. So you can kind of see there. Now let's take a look at a list. So I've got 12 unique Christmas gifts for mothers in 2021. Okay. In here, I've got, um, here's why everyone is loving Tiki Tunes. And guys, this is a really cool product and it's was on Shark Tank and it's, you, you, it's Bluetooth, it dials into your phone, has little lights. I mean, it does a pretty neat job. And this is, uh, this is a, like an electronic, uh, I guess it's a security. Uh, this, is, this is a tag where you can put it on your dog or on your purse or put it anywhere where you want to track it on your phone. It's a tracking device. So anyway, this is a, a nice little listicle. All these are linked to the actual ad itself, the, the blog post. So the, once they click on it, they can see more. Now, all these are then linked in to the direct checkout. Now, you don't have to do that intermediary step where you're sending them to a blog post. You can send them direct to a product or to a checkout, which we do, I think we do on this one. Unique Christmas gifts that make will make any student smile. So I've only got six in here, but if they click on this, the Fix Me Stick goes direct to checkout. So I, basically, I bypass the the blog posts or the advertorial. I'm going straight to checkout. And if you've got a product on Shopify or or Amazon, that's what you want to do is go direct to the to the checkout page if you can do that. Okay, so. We built this with uh, RSS Masher going into Masher sites. And I use the external content function on RSS Masher. So let me just show you what I did here. Uh, in fact, let's go in here. Best Christmas gifts for mom. So I took this, I'm in conversion AI, wrote up the, all the articles and then I, then I went over and I put images in there. And I, I took this and put it into Google Docs. Let me show you, Google Docs. Okay, so you can kind of see, here's, here's my last sickles here. Uh, here's top. 12 unique Christmas gifts for dads in 2021. Okay, so I try to get the image in early and then there's the, this is an H2 tag, I believe. Yep, H2 and there's my H1 tag or title tag. And you can kind of see there's a couple images. I've got the images all linked. So they're all going to, we got some tracking links in there. Okay. Uh, let's see where that goes to. This is probably going to the blog post. Yep. So it's going to the blog post first and then going out to the direct, direct to checkout. And, and just test that on your listicle. Do you want to go straight to checkout? If you got enough description in here and the image looks good, uh, you, you will probably get more sales going direct to checkout, or at least you'll get, uh, 
if you're going to an advertorial page, what I, I the reason I do that is I want to warm them up. So I don't have a very long description. So my long description is inside of here. And it tells everything that it does. So these are probably, if they click on through, they, they are probably going to be buyers. You're not necessarily guaranteed that they're going to be buyers if they just go straight to checkout off of a listicle. And I always, on my listicles, is I want to target them in, I have Facebook pixels set up here. So anybody that had clicked through to you're not the ultimate grill master from my listicle, I'm going to retarget the people that visited here from Facebook. So this is one of the things that when I do run Facebook ads, I actually will try to do uh, retargeting pixels only. So I want to send this again to people in the um, in Facebook that have an interest for uh, grilling tools. Okay. So now I've got this got this list. I've got twelve items in here, as you can see. Now, occasionally, or what I well, here's what I want to do. I'm going to show you RSS Masher. I want to get it in Masher site. So I'm going to go into RSS Masher, log in. So how do you get a Google Doc into your Masher? And you can do the same for WordPress if you want to go through this method with WordPress. WordPress has their own H very good HTML editor, and you can just drop in a Google Doc straight in to make a blog post. However, going through RSS Masher, you get the benefit of the scheduler. The scheduler is going to send out that list to whatever tier two links you have set up already. So here's, I want to show you on, let's go to, oh, before I do that. Okay. On Drive Gadgets, I have two mashes set up for Drive Gadgets. Okay. So I've got them grouped. I have the advertorials and then I have listicles. Now I'm going to go into this to show you what this is. It, listicles, I'm, my mash only pulls from one Google Sheet. This is the only thing I'm doing. I've got a Google Sheet coming into here and I don't do anything else. So I've got a Google Sheet feeding my mash and then my mash feeds my schedule. And I come over here manage schedules, and there's my listicle right there. So I'm going to hit edit. So it's picking up the mash, listicles. It's going to post one, actually it's going to post 10 times a day. So as soon as I get something, I want it posted over. Uh, I don't post a lot of listicles. So I, as soon as I have them made, I want them to show up on my masher site. Now, what I do is I send it to master site and at the same time, I put it on quick view news, which is a Pinterest style site. I use this as a tier two. Okay. In fact, I got a lot of content coming in here. So it's probably further on down here. Now these are master sites, but they're designed as link pen sites or Zergnet sites. This is more of a Zergnet site. So it's going to have a cross link back into the original post. Let's put this right over here. Okay. So going into Drive Gadgets, it's going into a category trending GIFs, random author, upload all images, templates, and then I use uh, Banner Bear in. Uh, to do smart cropping, which Banner Bear is part of the uh, a, uh, the API club. Okay, so that's how I set up. I go through through a Google Sheet into Mash into Schedule. Now, how do you start all this off? Well, I come over here, use own article. It's in a niche called uh, Giddy Up Listicles. Hit Edit, and I just hit Add. This is where I want to put my Google Doc. So I've got my Google Doc ready to go. And I'm just going to hit Control-A, Control-C, 
come over here, put it in here. And I'm going to take that title off because the way Mash, Masher Sites does is actually using the, the this title will be right there. Oops. Let's copy this. Over here, close the title in. Hit update. Okay. And that's all it takes to put, to get, to add it in there. Now you can, if you want to, you can do, you can build it inside of here. And if you want to change links, you just highlight that, come over here, and you can change the link if you want to do that. This is a full HTML editor. So you could come straight out of Jarvis and paste it in here if you want, and then build your links in here. Okay. I'm going to go back here, close that, and generate title, hit update, and back. Now, it is ready to go over to the scheduler. So what I would do is come down here, hit external content. Once it's in your article, now you're going to go to G Sheets, pick an author, Google account. It's coming out of my Launch Ninjas, and this is the Google Sheet I'm using. And the niche is the one that I was just editing. Okay, so I need I want to send this one over. So I highlighted it. Now, if you have spin tags, you can create multiple unique articles, but I'm just going to send it right here. Added successfully. Now it's going to go through the entire process and be dropped in probably within the next 30 minutes to 45 minutes. But that's how you get the article in there into your master sites. Now, once it's in your master site, you can come in and edit the post if you want to do that. But that's pretty easy. I mean, it's so in Masher, I have the advertorials and I have the listicle. And the listicle, for the most part, are pointing back to the advertorials and then they go out to a checkout page. Okay. And now let me show you the other one that we have. We're using GrooveCart. Now I've got uh, in GrooveCart, and through where it art is I've got products coming in from Printful. In fact, I've got more products I haven't even pushed over. So I can build a list cycle with these products. Now these are our own uh, swag gear, basically. In fact, Minion Builders should be up here uh, shortly. But you can, Group Cart has a whole bunch of different uh, uh, print on demand and drop shipping companies attached to it. So this is the same as if you were using Shopify uh, or WooCommerce. So you have your own little shopping store right here. And then they can actually buy if they want to buy Vid Penguin 2. Go to shipping, claim offer. and proceed to check out. Got a question about this, Damon. Uh, do we ship to the UK? I believe we do. We do. I, I do believe that you can, <laughs> yeah, we, we ship everywhere, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, we may want to take a few of those off. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably do. Uh, we don't have anybody in Tonga. I don't, <laughs> but yeah, you, um, the group card can set it. You can set up the shipping anywhere you want to go. We don't promote this very often. We we do have it available in some of our our sites and some of our emails, but um, I probably need to get more more into the where it art. Uh, let's just go back to where it art. But we're going to be building stores with not not custom prints like this, but more. Um, you know, we'll be using Dropify, Dropify to push into GrooveCart. And Dropify has a lot of US shipping points for Christmas gifts. So this next week, that's what I'm actually going to be building is um, another store inside of GrooveCart that are going to have USA shipped products going to the USA customers. 
Okay. Then all I have to do is I can use this. This would be the link that I would put in my listicle. Now I'm probably not going to build a listicle of Wayne and Damon's favorite uh, coffee mugs. <laughs> well, that that could be a good. I, I guess that could work. Um, we have our swag products here, so we could, I guess, make something a listicle of of that. But um, you want to be able to, to to promote these. So this is why you need a store of some type if you're doing any type of dropify. Uh, uh, drop shipping or print on demand. Okay. Um, any questions at this point? Um, we did have uh, one. Uh, what is Zergnet? Um, which I answered, <clears throat> but it only went to Don who asked, asked the question. Zergnet is a site that shares articles, and our alternative is the Masha site link site. Yeah, we'll just, I mean, you can type it in. Yeah, Zergnet. yeah, yeah, just. Okay. That's Zergnet. It's quick view news. Few similarities, not, uh, not a lot. I mean, but the, the, the beauty about this is quick view news is linked to, it has the video view sites it's linking to all the properties in quick view news we own. So if it comes into here, let's see, top cruise destinations. Uh, this is one of our video view sites. I don't even think AdSense is even on this. Um, we've got, we got some sites in here that are so new that we haven't even had a chance to put AdSense or any other products. But here, here's where it, I'll come back into this one. Okay. Show them splash of news if you want. Okay. In here, this is one of our sites. We have room. In fact, I think this is Google Ads. Um, I think I do have Google AdSense in here. It just hasn't warmed up yet. This is where I would put my ad, my 12 best Christmas gifts for dad. So I would go into my master sites and I'm going to load it up probably this weekend. I've got probably, I've got six. Uh, listicles right now, but I'm probably going to be up to 20 listicles by by next Friday. And I'm putting them over the 100 or so properties that we have and our own PBN network. So anywhere that you go in here would have an ad for the listicle. And you can always remove it at the end of Christmas or, you know, before then. Uh, let's go back to Quick View News. You said Splash of News. This is another yeah. one. That, this is a link pen site news dot, dot co or dot com com yep this is one of wayne's link pin sites and it goes to his google news approved sites like sporting excitement if you'll notice we always leave it up here um, so we add a, another window in here and in here we've got once we get down to the, uh, we've got Amazon products, we got uh, um, eBay, uh, not eBay, uh, Google AdSense in here. So, you know, we're coming back to our goal of we're wanting to make, you know, $20 per day. Well, we've got, we've got sites. And click on, um, go, go back in and click on, say, uh, you know, like the crypto the gold coins there or something. It's probably a crypto one. Yep. So whenever there's a blank, I know AdSense is kind of warming up. AdSense doesn't load as fast as our pages do. <laughs> and and sometimes you we only they only show maybe two ads per page, depending on the settings you've got. Yeah. So there's, pro there's probably an ad at the bottom. There you go. Oh no, that's a different one. Okay. But that's um, a news blog masher site. Yeah, this is Google News sites here. Yeah. So trending in the news. So anyway, uh, you know, part of the listicle is we can put the listicle here. We own a bunch of properties out there. And with master sites, we can drop all the ads in basically at one time because we're going to be using the ad control panel inside of master sites. Okay. 
So let's get back to um, any any other questions at this point. I know we 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 got off topic here. Is you know we we're using the list sickles in a manner that we're going to be sending them back to our own properties or we're sending them direct to checkout. Okay. Uh, I've got a question. What features of GrooveCart do you like over Shopify? WooCommerce, I really don't like. Um, the owner of GrooveCart. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> uh. Okay, guys, you want the, the lowdown on GrooveCart? Wayne and I uh, invested in Groove Pages, and whenever the the big package came out, and we have unlimited everything, and we have found that we like Kajabi better than Groove Pages to build sites, and ClickFunnels is better than Groove Pages. Groove Pages just seems to always they say they're in beta. It's just I've been designing websites for almost twenty years now. And the user interface is clunky. It's, it's all I can say about it. it. It does its job, and we got a few sales pages on it. But GrooveCart, it's their oldest product, and it works absolutely flawlessly. It doesn't have a lot of apps that you can add to it. But to set up this store with Printful took, I think it took all of maybe, maybe an hour to set up. Here's the, here's the difference between Shopify is Shopify would take, to do it right, and to get a good theme on it, um, would take maybe three to four days to get it exactly the way I wanted it. GrooveCart doesn't have that much flexibility. It, you know, you, you, you can kind of rearrange things and, and do some things different. It's just very simple to set up. So do you want to spend your time building pages or do you want to spend your time promoting pages. I, I prefer promoting versus building. That's how you make money online marketing. Um, but the other thing, group card, we don't pay a dime for. We can create as many stores as we want with group card because we've got the big massive uh, investment in group pages. So we're not, we're not disappointed about Groove, Groove Funnels, because there's products that you're going to use inside of Groove Funnels and then there's products you're not going to use. Um, so I'd love GrooveCart. Um, we could have a store up probably by Monday or Tuesday with some drop shipping products, which I, I'm going to do because I've got Dropified that are just USA products and we're only going to sell to US stores. So, um, you know, we're, I'm spending a lot of time this week, next week, and probably the all through October building stores and building list pages. November, I, all I'm doing is promoting. All, well, I'm going to be pr promoting in October also. But that distribution of where, where do you want your listicles going? Listicles are great business right now uh, for uh, selling products. That was a long explanation for a very short <laughs> question. Yeah, we, we like the monthly uh, fee. Yeah, <laughs> there isn't one. Yeah, the, there is no monthly fee on this one. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, we, we we took a not a chance, but we took you know, we bought the the platinum when it came out when it was all in beta. So yep. we get we get grandfathered in because of that. Yep. Um, I want to show you. Um, let's go back to see how that's done. So we're back on, on basically on questions here. Uh, let's see. So we've kind of gone over how we're building list cycles. Um, I went over kind of really quickly of keyword research. So if somebody was to ask you today, what are you going to build your list cycles on? Well, I do my keyword research. I'm looking for what's the most people are talking about. So these are kind of 13-year-old boy, two-year-old boy. So if you want to drill down to get a better, uh, to have less competition, do this. Top, the top 12 Christmas presents for a 13-year-old boy. Very, very specific questions, but people are asking this. Uh, this is what's, what's amazing to me. This is ranked in order that they're asked, or the most um, uh, 
on Google, this is the ranking that they have on there. So you can see these are, go after these. I mean, that's if 25 best toys for 13 year olds, 20, 22 cool gifts. You are gonna have some competition in here. In fact, you probably won't be able to knock off some of these. Um, like today.com, you won't be able to. So you may not ever get on page one or page two or page three. However, you know this is what people are asking for. So why not go do some paid ads for it? You can do some Google ads with it, but you can also do YouTube ads. Uh, you can do in-stream videos with it, make a little, you know, take your 25 best and make a little three minute video with it. Um, you know, and, and then use, use alternative sources besides the, the SERPs. The SERPs, you cannot scale up your business based on these SERPs right here. But this does give you ideas of how, you know, what can you do with this, with top Christmas presents for a 13-year-old boy. Um, and, and my VA that I'm, I have, she's doing some listicles for me right now. She goes, well, what? What's my next course? Well, I said, um, I told her I, I want uh, for a man, for a brother, for a boss, for a brother-in-law. <laughs> I don't know. Christmas gifts for a brother-in-law. Yep. 24 unique gifts. Good housekeeping. So all these people, if, if all the major publishers and magazine publishers are doing lists, you can never go wrong with a with a list, and just keep in mind there's other ways to promote it than besides just trying to get it to rank on page one of Google. Okay, Wayne, any other questions? Um, no, I think so. Okay, guys. Uh, this is one of our quicker shows today, but I just want to get in your in your head right now is if you have a store of any type, take all your products, make it into a list and publish it as a, you know, get you a, a good title to go with it. And if you don't know a good title, just go to Google and just start searching um, and put it into a list format and then start promoting it on your other sites and post it into Facebook. You got your Facebook groups there for a reason, especially if you're feeding them with good RSS content. Um, you know, use your groups. This is a great time to, to start promoting inside of your groups. So anyway, we're gonna end the call today and uh, Glad that you could join us and let's get ready for Halloween next. Okay. See you soon. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye.